all out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to Paris's deluxe version of Use Me. Y'all know how I feel about remixes, but I feel like I'm not going to like the deluxe version already because there's only one new song. And I hope it's good. God damn, I hope it's good. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Uh, let's just go right into this because I'm I'm curious to see how this sounds. Clouds go gray, dressed in silver lines. Never know, never know, never know. Thought it was wrong. Oh. Background. Thought I was wrong, and you hear this. Thought I was wrong. We're fucking it up. Thank you for cutting it off. voices sound so good can i also express how lynn literally every single time she opens a track it's like i am being inserted into a storyline and i'm like okay what just happened and she's like let me tell you and i'm like ah. Ooh, that chorus thank you for fucking <laughs> oof Can I just applaud this feature? Thank you. Not that 070 shake still is like shaky ground for me. I don't know if I, maybe because I'm used to it now that I, I'm like, all right, it is what it is. But this feature is pretty good. Sus. Yeah. Oh, this is such a, oh, this is such a, this reminds me of Dead Weight where you just gotta move to it. Oh, gee, Willikers. All my past relationship. You never loved me. I loved you. <laughs> and it was all in my mind. Ow. I don't like that. Watch it. Why is this not a music video? Question mark. Why? Why? Because this is one song that is excellent. Why is there not a music? flip my desk it is bonus track worthy you should create a music video and promote it will you do it i don't think so but you should heart that track ha i just uh. all right all right Did they just Taylor Swift it? I feel like they did. You ever just listen to a Taylor Swift song and you're, suddenly you're just like, I wonder what this would sound like if she actually put it in a pop beat. Like, um, Blank Space. Have you ever listened to that acoustically and then you you hear it, the actual song and how, like, all the effects. That's what I feel like they did with this song. I swear to Jesus. That's what... I... 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 I don't know if they're still going for the alternative. Is it still defined as alternative? Probably. But I feel like they would do very well in the pop category. Like, Jonas Brothers did it, and they used to be a little bit of rockish. But, like, I feel like they would do very well in pop. And, and that's what also kind of the question I have is, like, should they stay in this lane? Because some of these songs, they sound like they could be really good pop songs question mark but oh I, I like this version of it oh Amazing. <laughs> okay, hard hit. Hard hit. I love, I thought it was gonna be kind of the slow temp. I'm glad they put it as an alternative version. Do I feel like it should have been a deluxe song on this? No, I feel like it should have been like a bonus track on Hallucinations. Yikes. But eh, I I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. Please make me like this. <laughs> oh God. Remixes. Yay. Yeah, okay. 
Let's keep going, Dre. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. There might be something up ahead. It's okay. It's all right. Ah! <laughs> How 070 is gonna sound on this. Oh man, oh help me. Oh like 070 sounds amazing on this. Lynn, not some. Oh, oh don't come after me. Like, I'm poor. <laughs> nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. With Lynn also, it's like too, it was already like, how do I say this? It was already really clashing in the original when I first heard it. This voice clash with the background that is going a little bit faster. No, I can't. I'm not going to like it. I'm sorry. Everybody can hate me. It's fine. But I just, I don't like it. I could see it on a movie. Like, I, um, and a, a little bit, the instrumentals a little bit in the beginning reminded me of how, um, it, how it would fit a little bit with Goddess by Banks on that first album of hers, because it sounds like in, electronic a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Like, it, it, it sounds like a little bit like that. Uh, I just wish it saw, I don't understand, like, the busyness of the track already. Take Lynn's voice with Paris. Then you add 070 Shake. It was already busy. Then you remix it, and then it clashes, and then it's even busier. It just doesn't sound, I could see it on a soundtrack for something, but, like, no, no, I'm not hearting it. Sorry, can't relate. Ooh, I like this part. Let's go. Would I turn it on and be like, this is my jam, listen to this. Hail to the mother effing no. 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 I would play the original. Why? Because it has that beatage. I did like the build up of the song. The uh, 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 I'll give the n -n note. I thought that was a really creative part of the song that would build up. Do I like, is it my favorite? No, but it's not terrible. Ugh. Heart it. Why does this sound really similar to the OG? Have I not reached the point of the song where it switched up? Because please God, if this is the remix. <laughs> the remix? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? About to be a loveless person in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Remixes. Oh, gee. Okay, let's go back and listen to Loveless, the original track, shall we? It was fine. It 
was OG effing fine. Listen, if you're gonna do a remix, literally all they did was take out the guitar and put a beat under that. <laughs> like, I, I. And especially because Paris is one of my favorite bands. I don't understand why on the bonus tracks for this album, remixes, unnecessary. If you wanna release, like I understand some people may like remixes or like the instrumentals of songs, release it as an album. One of my favorite remix albums that when I really don't like remixes is Banks' album, For Goddess. She remixed it and put it out as an album. Why that wasn't done, I don't know, but this bonus track, I'm trying not to swear right now. This bonus tracks, you gave us one new song. One, one, one. And if I listen to the remixes, like if I bought this, actually put a, I would have been disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, final thoughts on this bonus track. Um, thank you, well worth it, well worth it. Should have released it as a single, promoted that, oh my gosh. Things are better, well worth it, but I don't think it should have been on the bonus track of this album. Put it on the EP, like, it was there. I think a lot of fans would have actually liked hearing some of the songs that were slower with that. On that album, hey, on the EP, hey. Um, but the last, the only one I really actually liked what remix was Dead Weight, but that's just because that's my personal favorite song. I don't think the other two was worth it. Like, and that hurts me. <laughs> that's the end of my reaction. Let a girl know down in the comments section, am I wrong? Am I expecting too much? I know this was made in a pandemic and they had a lot of issues with like actually keeping their release dates and things like that. But would you have liked a little bit of extra songs that weren't remixes? Or am it's okay. You guys can say we can we can talk honestly in the comment section. So in the comment section, did you like the remixes? Did you not like the remixes? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let a girl know down below. And like always, like this video and subscribe down below. I will talk to you later. Bye!